Hey, it's me, MLB. Here's the top delinquent, chapter 53, and this one is titled Dinner and a Show. What do you mean not smooth and white? This potato isn't peeled yet. This is the outer skin, he asked, pointing to it with his free hand as he held it in his sling-bound hand. Yes, Tenya. Do you not know what a potato is? You chuckled. Are you that rich that you've never had to peel a potato before? It is not because of my family's wealth. I just have never pursued kitchen hobbies, he replied defensively. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to peel a potato. This is ridiculous, you said, handing him a peeler and shaking your head. How does this contraption work? He asked as he looked it over. Come over to the sink. The peelings are going to fall in there and then we'll put them in the bin later, he said, guiding him by the elbow to the sink. He got into position and looked down at the potato and then placed the peeler against it. Yeah, you encourage, that's good. Now drag the peeler down. Ida followed instruction and a thin strip of potato skin came free and then fell into the sink and he just stared at it. Extraordinary, he uttered in amazement, looking back at the potato in his hand. And how often is this technique applied? Until the whole potato is peeled, he replied, amused by his baffled reaction to peeling a potato for the first time. This is a lengthy process, he commented, after doing a few more swipes and seeing it was really hadn't peeled much of the potato. Yep, but if you want potato, and I do, you got to put in the hard yards. This is phenomenal, he uttered again, watching as the potato was slowly peeled to completion, then grinned brightly when he'd completed it. Good job, he said with a small chuckle, taking the potato from him. Now we need five more. Five? he gasped. Yeah, he replied. You need more than one potato to feed people. I will peel the other five as well, he said confidently, walking back to the fridge to get another one. You can bring them all out, Tenya. They don't need to stay in the fridge until the last minute. Of course, he said, pulling another four potatoes out and looking at them fascinated. You shook your head and kept on preparing dinner while Ida peeled the other four potatoes. What other delicacies will we be having for tonight's dinner? He asked once he had finished up with the potatoes and they were in the stove cooking. Well, we have a macaroni in a pot, he said, suddenly being taken over by the lyrics to the song. Ida looked at you confused as he continued. That's a wet and gushy. Yin, he gasped, face flushing red instantly. What? It's a song. He replied with a nonchalant shrug. I find it very hard to believe that that would be a song, he replied, still sporting a bright red blush. It's my study music, he replied with a chuckle. I refuse to believe that it is of classical origin. Classical music is preferred for optimising the brain for study, Ida said, pushing his glasses up onto his nose. No, this song isn't classical, but it's iconic, you leered back at him. You know what? I think you need to hear it. No, wait, you definitely need to hear it. You quickly grabbed your phone and then pulled your small speaker over and synced them up. Okay, you ready for this? You asked with a cheeky smirk, pressing play on the YouTube video. The music started, along with the catchphrase being chanted in the background, and you jumped in and chanted along. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. You belted out at the top of your lungs. Yin! Ida gasped with a mortified look on his face. You turned and grabbed the front of his shirt and body rolled against him as Cardi sang the first line, with your lip syncing to hers. I said certified freak. Seven days a week. Wet and gushy. Make that black game weak. Ida's face strongly resembled the colour of a slapped ass, remaining frozen as you spun around and dropped to the floor, bouncing on your heels with your knees spread out before slowly standing up, ass coming up first, as you continued to lip sync to the song. You reached back to him as you straightened and strutted towards the lounge, pulling him along behind you. Feeling the song, you turned and grabbed him with both hands and then moved him so that he was against the lounge and pushed him firmly back to make him sit down. He fell backwards quickly and slumped back, legs spread apart as you straddled him and grabbed under his chin and then tilted his head up to look at you. Hold on top, I want to ride, you sung, do a kegel while it's inside. His mouth fell open with shock and you grinned in return, still lip syncing. While the song continued, you flirted it up with him, occasionally biting into your bottom lip or rolling your hips against his, which he would quickly halt, lest you feel how excited he was with this erotic display. Macaroni in a pot for this wet and gushy, you sung. Give me everything you got for this wet and gushy. Yin, this strong is far too explicit. This is pornographic, Ida stammered, trying to maintain his composure as you pressed your hands to his chest. 
You loved it, Tanya, don't lie, you hummed seductively. You leaned back down to kiss him and found that his lips were very warm and his mouth a little more wet than usual. As soon as your lips met his, he deepened the kiss and reached to caress your face, pulling it closer, and you gave in to him and pulled your body against his, knees either side of his hips. His heart is racing, you thought, feeling it hammering away against your chest as you pushed into him a little more needily. His hand slid from your cheek, down your side and then to your waist and slowly to your ass, his body starting to move on its own as he slid a little further under you. You pushed yourself against him, feeling something very firm underneath you as your hips rocked involuntarily against his. I, I, I apologise, he suddenly gasped, catching himself and sitting up while adjusting his glasses that had fallen a little skewed on his face. Don't apologise, he chuckled. I'm just as turned on as you are. This is very dangerous, he said softly. I cannot trust myself alone with you. I fear that something extramarital could occur. Please, someone save him. He's too innocent. There ends chapter 53. Stay tuned for chapter 54 coming tomorrow.